Hey guys, it's me, Carrie, and today I want to talk to you about something that I don't think a lot of YouTubers like to talk about. I certainly don't like to talk about it, and I've never posted a video directly addressing it before, but today I feel like, I don't know, it's just what my heart and my conscience are dictating that I do, and that is trolling and hate. I know a lot of people find the need to troll on YouTube or on all forms of social media, and if you were one of the few people, fortunately, that has not had to deal with trolling in your life, basically trolling is when someone feels the need to post hateful, disgusting, rude, offensive, sometimes threatening comments on your YouTube videos or your Twitter or your Facebook or your Instagram or what have you. Generally, these are people that don't know you, that will never know you, that you are completely anonymous to them, they're completely anonymous to you, but somehow they get some sick, misguided satisfaction out of doing it. I think it's absolutely hideous, it's reprehensible, it's inexcusable, and any and all hate comments posted on this video or any of my other future videos will immediately be deleted and the user who posts it will be blocked and... Unfortunately, in the case of the hateful comment I saw on one of my posts last night, I deleted and blocked before I reported it, and I should have because it was legitimately a threatening comment. It could have certainly been taken as a threat. Someone posted on one of my lip balm review videos that, I'm trying to get this quote exactly right, I believe it was, quote, your licking of your lips is so disgusting, it really makes me want to punch you in the throat. Now, some of you may go, oh, it's probably some, like, 12-year-old kid getting their jollies. But you know what? As a woman in today's society, as a human being in today's society, making threats is not acceptable. And no one should have to be subjected to that, whether it's from someone they know or some random asshole in cyberspace that thought, you know, hey, why don't I just post that and just see if I get a rise out of that person. They have since been blocked. They probably will pop up again with more accounts. They may very well be watching this right now. And if you are, fuck you. I hope you feel proud of yourself. You're a complete douchebag. And congratulations on proving your douchebaggery to all of YouTube. Way to go. Awesome job. I'm glad that that's, you know, what you've chosen to do with your life. Your parents must be so proud. But um, I know a lot of people say ignore trolls, don't. Don't give them attention. That's what they need. That's what they live for. Acknowledging it and mentioning it is just giving them more attention. And it, fine, you know, so be it. In this instance, I don't give a flying fuck. I, then let them have their attention. Attention, negative attention is not a good thing to have, people. If <laughs> you get off on having negative attention, wow, do I feel sorry for you. That's just tragic. But I felt the need to address the fact that, yeah, it was hurtful, it was incredibly ignorant, it was threatening, um, it was not acceptable, it is gone, it will never be spoken of again after this video. Um, I'm very happy to say that for the most part, my comments have been incredibly positive. I've only gotten literally less than a handful of negative comments in my life on my channel, knock wood. Of course now, you know, the trolls will come a running and there'll be a lot of unguarded bridges. But um, I've only gotten a handful of negative comments and usually they're, you know, the kind of like an intellect level of what you'd find with like an eight-year-old on the playground. So, you know, I just try to let it roll off my back. But um, yeah, I, I want to punch you in the throat was pretty harsh and intimidating and fucked up and it really pissed me off and I wasn't going to address it, but I am because it's not okay. And I hope that we as YouTubers can have each other's backs if we see negative shit posted on each other's pages. You may not want to address the person I understand because then you may fear that there'll be repercussions and they'll be negative to you. But if you see a negative post on somebody's YouTube channel, at least follow up with a positive post of your own. Trust me, the troll probably will never even revisit their comment. But if you know that somebody's been hurt, or even, you know, if they laugh it off, because a lot of people try to, and more power to them that they have the ability to do that. I, you know, 
my emotions are right under my skin. Like, if you touch me too hard, I feel like I'm going to break. So, you know, I'm putting that out there. You guys know that about me already. I, you know, I don't hide a lot of shit. But, well, I don't hide any shit, but I mean, I don't hold back a lot of shit, I should say. I'm pretty unguarded with you guys, and that may or may not be a wise decision. Especially in light of last night's loser, but... I just want to put it out there, guys, that if you do see people trolling your friends' pages, or even a complete stranger, even if it's just someone whose video you watch one time and you see somebody post something that something nasty, probably best not to directly address the person that wrote the nasty comment, but write something positive. At least let that ugliness and hate be, you know, be counterbalanced by something loving and kind and compassionate. It matters. It really, really does. As much as people try to laugh it off, unless they have legitimately no feelings or senses whatsoever, and I don't think they're other than possibly some sociopath serial killers, <laughs> um, I don't think there are many people that legitimately don't have feelings. Um, as much as someone may try to laugh it off and make light of the negative comments, there's a piece of them that is hurt. I know that. I, I fully, fully believe that. And um, again, you know, props to people who have the courage to just make light of it and just, you know, either disregard it completely or tell, you know, all the haters to go fuck themselves, which I guess in essence is what I'm doing now. And that's not what I'm about. Um, I'm a very pacifistic if that's a word type of person I really don't like to engage in hating anybody I have a few people on the planet that I do hate um, but I try not to live in darkness as much as possible my brain is pre-programmed for me to live in a lot of darkness so I certainly don't like to bring any additional darkness into my own life if I have control over my emotions to whatever level or degree I do. I try to live in a positive light space of love and understanding and empathy. And I tried, I really, really tried to think to myself, if somebody felt the need to tell me they wanted to punch me in the throat because they think the way I lick my lips in a lip balm video is disgusting, how tragically sad their life must be. I mean, I obviously stirred up enough emotion in them by the way I did this or whatever to make them write something so hateful and you know my husband always just says just ignore it just ignore it you know that's the nature of social media and it is and he's right but every once in a while I just get pushed too far and I feel like things need to be addressed and I'm in a mood so I felt like I wanted to address this right now like I said um whether you have a YouTube channel and you know you put yourself out there in the way that I do it, I mean all youtubers obviously are courageous putting yourself out there for the world's judgment is incredibly incredibly brave but even if you don't have a YouTube channel and you're just someone that is sub to me or maybe you're discovering me for the first time right now just know that words matter and actions matter and that I don't know, if you're sitting and you're watching this and you're thinking, shit, Carrie, that's really fucked up that somebody said that to you, you know? It would be really cool if you posted a comment and said, I'm really sorry, Carrie, that this happened to you instead of just thinking it, because it would be nice for me to hear. And I'm not looking for sympathy. That's not what this is about at all. I'm just saying that, like, okay, here's a great example. You go to a store and you get horrible, horrible service. You know, the cashier is a total bitch. She can't be bothered with you. She acts, you know, she's on her cell phone. She acts like you're annoying her by making her actually do her job. You're probably going to want to report her to the manager or maybe write a letter to, you know, the corporate office and say, God, this bitch, you know, she was horrible. She, she was just the worst cashier I've ever had in my life. I think that, you know, most of us, get that you know knee-jerk reaction when we feel that we've been mistreated but what about the times that you go and the cashier goes out of her way to say you know oh i really like your dress you know where did you get that oh you know i i, I was looking for a dress like that for my daughter and blah, blah 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 and you get into a conversation and she goes out of her way and you know she, she you're buying a freaking cake and she bags it safely and carefully in its own bag because she knows it's precious and she says oh wow you know I'm glad you get to celebrate somebody's birthday you know whatever whatever someone that goes above and beyond and makes you feel good how often do you actually go to the management and say you know Susie on register 9 was such an extraordinary cashier 
she really went above and beyond for me and you know please give her some kudos let her know that she's doing a good job I think we're a lot less likely to do that you know as human beings um, it's really a shame but I, I believe it to be true so I'm making a conscious effort in my life to try to spread more positivity to try to acknowledge kindnesses none and never ever take them for granted um, so yeah I guess what I'm trying to get at here is youtubers let's have each other's backs let's support each other let's appreciate because we're all in the same boat here putting ourselves out for the world's judgment let's make a point of encouraging each other uplifting each other and having each other's back in whatever way that we feel comfortable doing it's it's not okay to post hate it's not okay to post vile ignorant nasty comments and I, I legitimately will never understand why that gives anyone satisfaction, particularly when they're doing it to a complete and total stranger. But it is what it is. That's the way of the world, I guess. Unless we make it different. Unless we make it better. Unless we put a concerted effort out there into the universe to be more positive, to be more kind, to be more tolerant, to be more loving. To just open our mouths and say, I love you. I care about you, I respect you, I appreciate you, I acknowledge your humanity, I, I don't know. I, I was born in the wrong era. I definitely was meant to be a flower child. <laughs> I guess I still am one, even though I missed the 60s by four fucking years and that drives me batshit. I really wish I could have been born in the 60s, but, um, but yeah, the, the, the moral of the story is the haters aren't going to win. They may hurt us temporarily. They may disrupt our days. They may be mild annoyances. Or they may make us cry and still be thinking about it 12 hours later. But they're not going to win if we don't let them. So let's not let them. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys. I love you so much. Thanks for your support. And I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye.